Welcome back to Live at Five. I'm Jack Allen. Three games. That's all that could remain in the Harding baseball season as they head into the final weekend for a do or die final series. The Bisons in a five way tie for three spots left in the GAC tournament. The only thing standing in their way rivals Arkansas Tech who are already safely in the field of six. If Harding doesn't show out this weekend, that's it. Dunzo. The Bisons won against Union University earlier this week after struggling against Henderson State a week ago. The Bisons open the series tomorrow in Russellville at 7 o'clock before they finish with a doubleheader on Saturday. Now the Harding softball team is breathing a little easier after clinching their spot in the GAC tournament field last weekend. Harding split a series with Henderson State. And with that, the Lady Bisons are going to end their season as either the number three or number four seed in the GAC, depending on how they play this weekend. Harding ace Jenna Hip is riding high after two solid outings in Arkadelphia as Harding looks to lock down that third spot. First pitch for that one begins at one tomorrow. It'll be a doubleheader with another doubleheader scheduled for Saturday. Now, while Harding softball has been known as a power in the GAC the last few years, the nation's eyes are now looking at one Lady Bison in particular. Senior outfielder Peyton Mills was recognized today as one of 25 finalists for the NFCA National Player of the Year Award in Division II. She's the only GAC player on that list. Mills leads the conference with a 533 on-base percentage and 17 doubles. She's Harding's all-time leader in RBI and home runs. The next step... On May 14th, we'll find out whether Mills will be named as one of the top 10 players of the year. Lots of prep baseball and softball action across the county as schools look to book their spot in the regional tournament. Last night, Pangburn put an end to the Bears of White County Central's hopes in a, white, in a 14 to 6 win and Harding Academy kept their quest for a third straight 3A state title alive. They join Rosebud in the regional round. The Ramblers, the only county school to advance both its baseball and softball teams, Bradford and Bald Knob softball, also through to next weekend. Championship champ Excuse me, championship season is here for the Harding men's and women's tennis teams. After entering the season as favorites to win the conference, both sides have struggled as the GAC has gotten stronger. Three or the men team lost three of four GAC matches this season, but still find themselves fourth in the central region. They start play tomorrow in Bentonville against SAU as they look to reassert their dominance in league play. Harding lost to the Mule Riders two, of four, two to four earlier this season. And the women have done slightly better, winning four of six matches in conference play. But none of that's going to matter tomorrow if they fall against Oklahoma Baptist like they did two weeks ago. With wins, both teams hope to advance to the conference championship. And now for the coolest thing I saw, I take you to the nation's capital. The reigning champs in a Game 7 battle in double overtime. Sudden death, Brock McGinn is going to stun the world. The Carolina Hurricanes with their first series win in 10 years to defeat the reigning champions, Alexander Ovechkin, and the Caps just can't believe it. I still just can't believe that people can skate that long without falling down. What a scene there in, in the nation's capital. Now that's all we have for sports, and that's all I have for sports here at HU16. It's been a pleasure getting to cover so many incredible players, coaches, and programs this year. And I want to give a final shout out to all the anchors, reporters, producers, and behind the camera people who make this all possible. For now, we're going to send it back to the desk.